G'day guys, Paul here from The Hook and The Cook. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're in Lake Mondrum and we're chasing the ever-elusive Barramundi. Not too easy to catch here on Lake Mondrum. Um, sometimes it gets called Lake Misery, but sometimes it's red hot. And when it's hot, it is absolutely fire and they catch some monster Barramundi here. Um, today I'm out with my wife. Uh, we're gonna go and have a flick around, see how we go. I've never fished it before. Um, so I brought some prawns along with me, just in case we don't catch anything. And I've heard the barramundi don't taste too good here anyway, because they're out in the mud. So we probably won't be eating any barramundi, but I've got some beautiful prawns. Might cook up Danielle something for lunch. Anyway, let's get out there and see how we go. Fish. Well, some people like them to eat, definitely not me. Sorry, you probably can't hear me then. Anyway, you just got to be careful with these guys. You have a big barb on the back of there. Somewhere on. Anyway, I'm not going to take any chances. I'll release this guy hopefully in the water. Truly hooked, wasn't much chance of him getting away, that's for sure. There we go, got him back. This is the lure that did it. Not that you want to catch catfish all the time, but um, they've been getting the barra on these as well. And they're not cheap, they're about 14 bucks, so I was making sure I got that back off that, that catfish, that's for sure. There's a bit of a stampede on, look. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, the barra around. <laughs> you couldn't have a look at us, look, they're coming from all over the place. They're coming down the hill pretty quick. I wish the barra mundi had come out to play. Okay guys, I've got a, a bar on at the moment. There we go folks, beautiful little barramundi out of the uh, Lake Mundurin, or Lake Mundurin, however you want to say it. And uh, let's just get this guy back in the water. Now he's ready to kick, and there he goes. Beautiful, awesome. You. So guys, time to do a little bit of lunch. Uh, we're absolutely starving. We've got one bar on Monday today, but at least we've um, we've broken the drought. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of fun when we caught that, and hopefully we'll get some this afternoon. But. We've got to have something to eat. So, what we've got today is we've got some uh, Creo Crush seasoning here that I'm going to throw on top of the prawns. I've got these beautiful Malula Bar prawns left over from Christmas. They weren't in the fridge, of course, they've been in the freezer, or else they'd be really stinking by now. But they're absolutely beautiful. Some olive oil. Um, we've also got a little bit of sweet chili sauce, um, some sushi, sushi seasoning. All this I just thrown in the cupboard, just found it in the cupboard. It's not a really a recipe, I'm just mixing this together. Uh, we've got some soya sauce as well. Um, and we're going to throw that all together with some of our salad, um, just a little bit of uh, store-bought salad because um, we're just out here, nice and easy, 
Beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day. What a cracking day. Um, and we're just going to throw that on a bread roll. So what I'm going to do is marinate these up. I've got a couple of prawns here with the head still on. This is how I want them. And I want them with the uh, I want them to be deveined. Or we take call it the poo shoot here in Australia, or the uh, we call it deveining. Some people get a bit confused. We've got a really good video on how to devein prawns three different ways on the YouTube channel. Now, obviously, we're in a freshwater environment here, so these are saltwater prawns. So I'm not going to throw them in there. We're going to dispose of them back at the caravan park. So I'm just going to show you quickly how I do them. So I just peel them straight down one side with my thumb, then we twist like so, squeeze the tail and then just hold it nice and straight and you can see the little poo shoot here or the vein okay we need to pull that out and we just keep it straight and just pull that straight out like so whoops a daisy let's just slippery little sucker there we go we just pull that straight out like so really easy so i'll show you one more just quickly and you can do it fairly quick once you get used to it so down one side of the the prawns you have to be fairly quick over here in Australia to do this uh, for people that aren't from Australia because everybody else eats the prawns otherwise at Christmas time and you never get a prawn. So just squeeze the tail to get that all out and then again grab the old poo shoot or the vein. I'll just show you that and just hold it straight and it comes straight out. Perfect. Okay, now we're just going to throw a marinade in there. Just a little bit of olive oil in there like so. That's just to loosen it up. Uh, I'm going to put some sweet chilli in here. This will give it a really nice sort of uh, caramelised sweetness flavour to go on our rolls. So I've got a little bit of mirum in there. Not too much. It's got a little bit of sugar. Um, and it's really really nice but it's just whatever I could find hanging around at home. There's no recipe for this, no secret recipe but I'll tell you what it tastes great. And then some soya sauce just for a little bit of saltiness. So we'll just mix all this together. Actually, I'll use the tongs, it might be easier. Mix all this together. And it's an instant marinade. We can use this pretty much and cook straight away. So the prawns don't have to sit around in the heat. A couple of safety tips. What I've done here is just put a wet cloth, chopping board underneath. Also, I've got another wet cloth so it doesn't slip. Also, keep the, um, keep the definitely this, uh, the naked flame well away from your petrol. Okay, I mean, it sounds quite obvious, but plenty of accidents have happened on boats. I'm just going to turn this guy on now. Fantastic, these little cookers. They start up pretty much straight away. Pop the pan on. A little bit of oil in the pan. It's a quite a thin pan, this one, so it doesn't take long to heat up. A few cows in the background there, just having a bit of a munch too. I bet they're glad we're eating prawns today and not steak. Okay, so because it's quite wet, um, we don't want to throw them all in at once, especially with hot oil or it'll spit everywhere. So yeah, you just want it to heat up and then straight in and just put one in at a time. Don't rush it. Just one prawn at a time. And I'll probably turn it down a little bit, otherwise the, the sugars tend to caramelise and burn. We don't want it to burn too much, but we do want a little bit of caramelisation on our prawns. Well, like I said, it's just whatever we had hanging around at home. Okay, so while these guys are cooking, what I'm going to do is just dress the salad. And wow, that bowl's hot. It's a pretty hot day. It's been around about 35 degrees. Just straight in with our salad dressing. In with some of these little crispy noodles. Pretty good. And then all I'm going to do is just give these a little bit of a toss around. All that dressing. And always dress your salad last minute, otherwise you end up with a really soggy salad. There's nothing worse. Lovely. Now I'm going to throw a little bit of my uh, sprinkle on top of my prawns. Got some beautiful garlic pepper seasoning from Creo Crush. Really fantastic. These guys do a uh, Australian owned, a fantastic company. Herbs and spices, one of the biggest in Australia. Just going to add this. Just a bit of a sprinkling through there. So this is uh, garlic pepper seasoning. To give it a little bit of hump. And then we're just going to flip this over. And that beautiful olive oil. Again, the olive oil from Serena. These guys are all sponsoring uh, our YouTube channel this year. 
Got to give them a bit of value. Look how good they're looking. Absolutely yum out. Not a bad looking. Not a bad looking lunch at all. It's all cooked out here on the boat. How good is that? Really? Grab a couple of these small ones that are cooked and leave them bigger ones for later. Now, how simple and easy was that to do? Now we're going to probably get this down us and see if we can get a little bit more footage of catching a few fish. But as you know, I am the cook, not the hook. Make sure you check Scotty Lyons' uh, video out next week. Every Friday here at the Hook and the Cook. But just look at that. How good's that look? Let's see how they taste. Yum. Mm. Superb. We'll see you later, guys. Take care. We'd like to give a big thank you to all our sponsors for 2019.